Alger Bingo is a two to four player game. To play, you will need the grid games board, the Think Square overlay, a bag of tiles for each player, and a set of operations and a six sided dice. Now these operations will be plus, minus, times and divide and on the opposite sides of them will be written the reverse. The game begins with players creating a grid full of algebraic expressions. These shouldn't be repeated and they should only have the numbers from one to six, either times, minus, add or divide. Um, so there's one I prepared earlier. This, this means divide by if you're not familiar with that. Um, this is x plus six, so six more than x. This is one less than x. This is like four times x, so this is four lots of. We don't write a multiplication sign in maths where we don't have to. So two x means two lots of x. Um, the idea of the game is to find x by itself in each of your spaces in the grid. And how this is done, so we put the think square overlay on top and then we roll the operations and the dice. Roll them all at once. Whichever it ends up closest to, the dice that is, is the operation you choose. So in this case, it's probably this one under here. So divide by three. What here would divide by three undo? Would dividing by three make that just x by itself? No, it wouldn't. Um, would that make it just x by itself? No, because it's already being divided by three. So that would actually cause it to be divided by nine. So this person doesn't have anything on their grid that will leave them with just x after they've performed this operation. Blue team does, however, because this three x is the same as three lots of x. And if you divided that by three, you'd be left with one lot of x or just x. And so if ever you can do that, you can put a tile over that specific square. So we'll go again. This time we're rolling. And so subtract two. If anyone has an x plus two, subtracting two will just leave you with x. So there it is. Blue's got another one. So subtract two gets rid of that plus two and leaves you with just x. Now to win this game, there's two ways. You can either get four in a row, diagonally or uh, adjacent to each other, or you can wait until all the squares in the board are covered. So if you want a quick game, go for four in a row. If you want a longer game, wait till all the squares are covered. So we'll go a few more just so you get the idea. So the next roll, plus four. So if you have x minus four, the plus four will undo that. So this time red does get one because if you add four to minus four, you'll just have nothing well, but the x. And this one, blue's got another one as well. So blue's gotten lucky all three times in a row so far because if you add four to this, you'll be back with just x. And so that's how you play the game. Undoing what is there in the algebraic expression to leave you with x, and the first person to either get four in a row or fill the grid wins. <laughs>